would you look at this? A double helix, greenery, and something about growing our own ecosystem? You guys, I think I just found one of my new favorite games. But welcome to Equinox, which has a game that focuses on managing your own ecosystem, evolving more complex creatures over time, and basically controlling your own world and its environment. Well, you guys know it was only a matter of time before I, Siri, the pixel biologist, managed to find out about it and dive in. So we're going to be diving in today completely blind, other than the basics of managing an environment and the extremely positive reception that it has had on our Patreon group, uh, all of them asking me to please give it a whirl, I don't know anything about this game and I really love that. So let's dive in together and see what on earth is going to happen uh, or even if we're going to be on earth. Also, I love this. That's so cute. It selects the different... Okay. Okay. Moving on. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Equinox. Click the flashing task tab and follow the first task to get started. I have a little cloud. Oh, look at this. Wow. Is Wow, I have a lot of little clouds. Is this? This is so cute. This must be my little land. There's nothing on it yet, but maybe I can use those clouds to help me grow some trees. Let's find out. All right, so task complete. We have a whole bunch. Flower power, sheepish, chicken farm. This is boring. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think we're about to have a grand time. So we want to full grown grass tuft. We want to watch some grass grow. And it looks like that is the first thing we're going to be working on. To begin a new ecosystem, start by planting some simple grass. Click on the grass in the plant shop and then place some seeds in the world. After a few seconds, the grass will grow to full size. While you wait, you can select the grass in the world by clicking on it to see its current stats and other options. Wow, oh, and it unlocks a daisy. Okay, so our task is to go to the plant shop here and get a grass tuff. Uh, I think it might like being next to Oh, it's so small! Oh my gosh, you are just literally one tuft of grass. What? Should I put down more? Oh, wow, it already grew. Look at our tiny, our very first little blade of grass. Hi there. Look at that. It's almost 100% grown. I wonder if it's going to actually spread about... Oh my gosh, you can evolve it? You can evolve it into wheat and wild mint and oregano. Oh, wow. Or you could try to selectively breed it for different colors. Oh my gosh. Selectively breeding pandas. Just think about it. I want it to be able to happen. <gasps> or what if we selectively breed really colorful sheep? Can you make rainbow sheep? Because that would be adorable. But all right, so we've completed that task and it seems now that our grass has fully grown, it is already spreading itself. Look, you can see more grass tufts starting up. This is great. And then you can remove them, you can transplant them. It doesn't have any buffs, but apparently it could. The grass tuft is a small basic plant which spreads in the grassland biome. This quick growing plant can survive in most areas and provides food for many small creatures. It grows best in low altitudes. You know, this is reminding me a lot of kind of a faster polygon based version of, oh my gosh, the grass is spreading everywhere already, of a uh, Taito Ecology and kind of makes me want to visit the, our biodomes again. But this is so cool. I love how freeform spreading it really is. So is there anything else we can learn about it? Uh, the natural color ranges in mostly greens, but it looks like eventually we might be able to evolve it into something else. And it adds food points, which I think the animals we could add in would enjoy. So let's go ahead. We completed that task. I'm very happy about that. And now we get the daisy and the flower power task. So species unlocked. We have unlocked the daisy species. And now flower power, time to add some color to the world. Buy a flower and plant it. Plant spreads slowly over the local area. <gasps> Look, it's starting to become green where we put the grass. Oh, that's very exciting. So soon enough, you'll have a small patch of grass and flowers. No need to buy more, they'll reproduce on their own. Also, did our first one die? I think our very first blade of grass disappeared. I wonder if they can like die off over time. That would make sense. So we want to have three fully grown daisies and then six fully grown tufts of grass and that will unlock the oak tree. Oh, that makes me think about our nichelings that we have in niche, which is also all about uh, spreading genetics and mutations over time. 
But in Niche, we have a series called the Cookie Tree Tribe right now. And it's making me think about uh, planting our first tree here as well. But here's our little daisy. It's just a tiny thing right now, but it's almost finished growing. Its health is okay. The environment's okay. Look at how the greenery has spread. I wonder how we get the DP. Because if I was confident at gaining more of it, we're not gaining any DP per minute right now. If I was confident at gaining more, I would just start spreading the grass everywhere to spread the greenery about. Oh look, it's another little grass tuff. Is our daisy done? Our daisy's done! And look at how beautiful it is actually. I love that geometric shape to it. That's quite lovely. And you can see, oh look, there's another daisy up here. So the daisy seeds are spreading up the hill. This is so nice. I wonder if I had put it more in the center if the greenery would have spread faster, but look at that. Wow. We're not earning any DP yet, so I kind of just want to sit and wait. We can actually speed things up, I think. You can see the reflection of the clouds down below. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so you can hold it like this. So we can hold it down. There we go. And you can actually see things spread. Look at that. The greenery is just becoming darker and darker. That's so nice. All right, so we've claimed this reward and we have now unlocked my first tree. You'll notice the terrain has turned green and this is because the grass and daisies have created a grassland biome. Different species like living in different biomes and you can check their preference in the species info panel. Grow a tree in the new grassland biome suitable uh, for an altitude suitable to the task. So we wanna grow an oak tree to 50% maturity and have one oak tree in the world with an environmental satisfaction of over 70 and it will unlock sheep, oh my gosh, and four other tasks sheepish more grass genetic modification and completionist <gasps> we're gonna start getting into the gene modding oh that's gonna be so cool also we need to figure out how to get some dp so now with the oak tree let's go ahead and plant it and then we'll con contemplate what an oak tree wants out of life the oak tree is the most basic tree in Equinox and has no problem growing in most areas. Many animals enjoy having this tree in their habitat. It takes much longer to grow than small plants, but also has a longer lifespan. Look at that! Wow, and it only lives for like a day and 21 hours in this game. Oh my gosh, look at how peaceful that is. Actually, I love watching it. The stars going by overhead. The little tree growing and growing. Apparently it's at 50% now. The dawn rising. The grass and daisies dying off and coming back. Oh. This isn't just interesting. This is really beautiful in its own way. Wow. Okay. Well, we need to make this oak tree happy. Is it 60% happy? Uh, just about. It wants a more suitable biome. Eventually, we might be able to even evolve it into an apple tree, a sycamore tree, an elm tree. Uh, we can maybe do something fun with the genes in the future, but let's wrap this up. All right, are you guys ready for sheep? <laughs> All right, so we have more grass we have just unlocked. Sheepish, we need to have some satisfied sheep. And we can make some light blue daisies. Oh, that sounds fantastic. And I wonder if adding the sheep will actually be what gives us new DP, because I'm a little worried. I wanna spread more grass, more daisies. <gasps> we have another baby tree coming in. Oh, that's fantastic. But I, I have noticed that the grass isn't really holding in tightly to this section, and we might lose our grassland if we're not careful. So, hmm. So, to get sheepish, time for some animals. Create a herd of sheep and ensure that they are satisfied in their environment and have enough to eat. Information about the preferred surroundings and diet can be found in their species profile. Look at our little other tree, that's so cute. Happy, healthy animals provide you with a regular income of DP. So that's what we want, guys. We want some sheep, and that makes me think we're probably gonna want some more grass. 
We need more grass. Plant some grass in other areas of the world to start spreading wildlife. You can either buy new grass from the shop or choose the transplant option in the grass's action to move it into a new area. Transplanting is more expensive. And if we do the grass, we'll unlock the wheat breeder task and also unlock stones. But let's focus on the sheep for now. Oh my gosh. I just noticed there's peacocks, there's wolves and butterflies and toads and toucans. Wow, and squirrels and sparrows and wild and a guinea pig. Oh, I need that guinea pig in my life. All right, let's put down a sheep. It's so small. Is that a baby lamb? Oh my gosh. We're going to start with two. Is it just a baby? This is so cute. His name's Miles. I can name them. Oh my gosh. His diet is mixed. He's playing around and they give us regular DP. We have Miles and Waddles. Oh my gosh. They're the first generation of sheep. We can apparently evolve them into wild boars or goats or deer. What on earth? We can take, wait, take control? What do you mean? Oh my gosh, we can drive miles around. <laughs> That's so adorable. All right, if they're bringing in some DP, let's go ahead and spread more grass because I have been worried. Two, three, I'm sure this will this will totally work out. I want to get more grass like all over the place. Oh, I probably spent way too much on grass actually. Uh, and then can I afford, I think I can afford two more sheep. There we go. And now they need to become happy, healthy sheep who will hopefully thrive. We have Wesley and Coco as well. Yay, and we completed the sheepish task. Fantastic, there we go. We've got more grass coming on in. We have the completionist uh, task that we can actually focus on. And sure enough, our little sheep are starting to get bigger. This is so cute. I hope we can get like all of the plants growing pretty well. Uh, and if it is, so age 2.3 hours, how long do you live? One day and 19 hours is how long our little sheep will live. And sure enough, they are actually eating a whole bunch of the smaller plants. Uh, they sleep at night, they flee from predators, which is adorable. They like grasslands, forests, snow, swamp, lush woodlands. Uh, oh, we have the more grass task completed. Huzzah! Wonderful. We'll look at the other tasks in just a second. I think we have unlocked stones now and birch trees. Uh, where was I? Let's see. And let's see. The cute fluffy animals love to spend their time roaming around to eat grass or fruit if they can find any. The sheep also likes to sleep at night and is often hunted by predators. It's one of the most basic animals. It's so cute. It, uh, it likes trees and it eats honey fallen fruit, fruit bushes, and grasses. So I'm glad we spread the grass. And thank goodness, wow, that was a good investment because now we have a whole bunch of grass all over the place. Uh, let's get some more daisies put down too. Couple more daisies. I'm gonna put down another oak tree or two. Well, I guess we wanna have the grass established first, but I'm gonna put down an oak tree as well. And then what do the stones do? A small pile of stones. <gasps> was that a baby sheep sheep? No, that was just Miles. I thought they had like the second generation of sheep and I got very excited. Um, but they do need a lot of food. Good grief. I'm glad we put down so much. All right, what's our next task then? So completionist is completing all tasks, which will take a minute. Cashing in is getting more diversity points, which are our currency in Equinox. And we start earning DP from animals or by completing tasks. Each animal produces a small amount of DP per minute, with healthier, happier, full-grown animals producing more. In the toolbar, you'll see the total DP per minute you're earning from the animals. Okay, so we're doing good on that, and we can unlock brown stones completing that. But I'm very curious about uh, this genetic modification. Let's see if we can do a little gene modifying real fast. When you select a plant in the world, you can see its current traits in the traits tab. When the plant breeds, these traits get passed on to its offspring with slight variations. Select the, click the selective breeding option to allow you to modify the traits that get passed on. <gasps> That's so cool! And we can unlock brown rocks, the wanderer music track. Oh, that's cool that you can unlock different music tracks. Well, I put a daisy down here. 
So if we want to, oh, you can turn it into all these other flowers too. If I want to selectively breed it, what can I do? So this would be its size. You can alter its size? That is so interesting. You can alter how edible it is. So if other things can eat it, or if you want to have like maybe a, a vibrant purple species of daisy that can't be eaten, that would be really cool. And then you can apparently change the color. So let's go to light blue. Um, there's a whole bunch of really cool colors. And then we're gonna go ahead Look at that. Wow, you can make it like really pale or really dark blue. We're gonna buy this. And then over time, I think that this modified daisy will actually spread some blue daisies about. And hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of little sheepy soon. I'm actually quite curious to see if we'll end up with more baby sheep sheep. Uh, so let's speed up for a second, actually. Look at them go. They're really chewing through the grass. I wonder if I should put down more. I mean, I think they're doing okay. Oh, they're sleeping. <gasps> they're counting sheep, you guys. Our little sheep are counting sheep. Do you like that? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Are you guys gonna have any babies? Oh, there we go. They're hopping around again. Hi, oh my gosh, you're so cute. What do you think of your world? You're right, this side really does need more plants. <laughs> I have a feeling like you can't really go wrong with the grassland at first. I may regret putting down this much grass. We might actually want to import sheep <laughs> to clear areas out if we don't want a grassland in the future. But if they only live for so long, when do they have baby sheep? I'm really curious about that. Baby sheep, baby sheep, baby sheep, baby sheep, baby sheep. Whoa, look how green it's become. Wow, you guys. And there's more trees spreading. And I can hear the birds, even if we haven't added them in just yet. Huh. Well, how are things going for... Oh, the health of this daisy is really low. Uh-oh. Did our blue daisies get eaten or die off? I think our modified daisy died. Oh, no. Maybe because of its, oh, because its age was possibly too old. Oh, we probably want to modify and selectively breed this one because this one is in a better area and it's younger. Noted. Okay, well, we're going to give it another try at genetically modifying our plants. But guys, this is right up our alley, isn't it? I really hope that you're all looking forward to doing this with me and we can have some fun maybe trying- Oh no, the health is going down on waddles! <laughs> maybe we can try to selectively breed disease resistant speed- Bounce power! We can try to breed for the ultimate, most like beautifully colored bouncy sheep ever. That sounds like a fantastic goal we are going to have to live for. But if you guys have enjoyed this, do please consider subscribing if you haven't already, because like I said, I'm the pixel biologist. We have literally thousands of adventures related to creating and crafting beautiful ecosystems in our wonderful adventures and celebrating just science, the natural world, creativity, and how fun it is to have the joy of discovery. And if you guys liked this, do please leave a little like so that our sheep sheep will have something to eat. And what color do you think we should work on making them? I'm kind of leaning towards a very bouncy gold or cyan sheep. And it might be really fun to actually have different populations of sheep uh, and to see how quickly the different populations and their coloring spread. So, oh, our very first tree has died but left behind many, many offspring. Spring. I think we're gonna have to put a little more effort in to get this place as beautiful as I'm hoping and I'm really looking forward to sharing all of that with you next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!